Hey Brad Squad, it's Belgium Kim, and today we are in Harlem at the Three Kings Day Parade. Three Kings Day, or Epiphany as it's also known, celebrates the biblical adoration of baby Jesus by the three wise men, or the three kings. Three Kings Day, ha! It's a Christian tradition celebrated all over the world in a multitude of ways. And New York City is home to a parade that's been going on for over 40 years. It features real camels, it features colorful puppets, and thousands of local students from the area celebrating Three Kings Day. Check this out, Brad Squad. Mariposa. Which means butterfly. butterfly yeah. uh, very mochu colors of uh, ethnicity, keeping culture alive. It's an honor and a pleasure. I've been doing this since I was five years old. I am the child of a village. Now this is my village. It's a great village. This is, this is my village, right? <laughs> So I dedicate every presentation that I do to my mother. When you're a kid, you don't know, and you're a child, you say no, and then you feel like, why did she tell me this? Why was it she teaching me this? And now I honor her. Everywhere I go, I put her. Uh, this is what I do for you guys, so you guys can remember your culture and your heritage. I started doing it when I was your age. And yes, I used to say no to my mommy, like I was saying before, but now I honor her. And she did get to see me doing presentations and it's a pleasure and an honor. So when they ask you what we do, we do tradition and culture and heritage with pride and joy. So this way, when you have other family members and they come to you and they ask you what you did today, you'll tell them I was doing my heritage and my culture with honor and joy. Okay. Oh, yeah. So Nicole, thanks for sticking around Absolutely. a little bit, because um, I, I I wasn't able to properly share my time. So I know the doors have kind of answered this question, but what does the Three Kings Day Parade mean to you? It means togetherness and the recognition of the arrival of Jesus Christ um, from the Three Kings, and uh, to honor and respect. Is this your first parade? It doesn't seem like it. No, it's not. No, no I'm involved with most uh, Latino uh, movements. Uh, I actually uh, was a part of the Hispanic uh, Heritage Parade mm -hmm. back in September with Doris, oh, and I represented the Taino Nation. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. So I know that we talked a little bit about your traditions, um, but what is your immigration story? I am a second generation Brooklynite, Brooklyn, Puerto Rican. Uh, my mother born and raised in Brooklyn, my father from Puerto Rico. Amazing. Yes. Do you go back a lot? I go back every three weeks. Every three weeks? Yes, I'm very, very much involved with the humanitarian efforts post Hurricane Maria. Yeah. Um, pre Hurricane Maria, I've been involved with the economic crisis and those, mo those movements there. Oh, you're like my hero. Right now. <laughs> I'm just glad that I have the opportunity and yeah. the availability and the family structure to do this. Absolutely, so. absolutely. What is your American dream? Uh, that everyone needs to be treated equally and um, this delineation that we currently have and it seems to be getting bigger, yeah. this just needs to stop. These We, we need to hold our uh, political leaders responsible um, and for bridging they have to bridge this gap. So just equality, um, fairness, and um, and unity. Hey, Brad Squad, we are here with Jess, Anna, and Heather. Thank you so much, you guys. What brought you out to the Three Kings Day Parade today? Well, actually, our school right now is studying Puerto Rico, Ecuador, all Latin America. And so this was a great event to come to for the children to um, see the actual three kings, which we have been talking about since the beginning of the school year. Anna, what about you? Uh, same reason we came with the school. Uh, my family is from Cuba, where the three king celebration is traditional. And so I was looking forward to showing my son, Santiago, a very fun way to see the three kings in person and to see the camels. The camels and. Yeah. And how, uh, you know, our entire community here in New York also celebrates the Three Kings, so it's not just our family. Yeah. Heather, I'm not forgetting you over there. <laughs> what kinds of ways do you celebrate? Actually, I've never grown up with the Three Kings, so this is very nice for me to show my children something new in our, I mean, it is part of our culture because I am Puerto Rican, but my parents never gave that to me. So it's something that I felt from my heart that I really wanted my son and the kids to see and experience firsthand. Do you have any traditions in your family? Well, I'm from Honduras, and uh, the three kings, like I said, were mentioned, but we 
really celebrate Christmas and uh, New Year's and Santa is very big. So and um, but uh, we do mention them. They do belong to our culture, not as not as strong, but yes, they they are forever. Anna, what about you? Yes, I grew up celebrating the Three Kings. Um, they are part of Cuban culture, and I also have family from Spain, and they have been a big celebration there. And in fact, uh, when I was a child, some members of my family would complain that Santa was getting a bigger focus here in the United States than the Three Kings, that the Three Kings are really the ones who are supposed to bring the presents and not Santa. So, you know, there's that. What are your New Year's resolutions? <laughs> Heather is like, don't, don't come over here. Do not, don't you dare. I'm ready, bro. I'm coming for you, bro. Less sugar. <laughs> Less sugar. To flourish, to flourish my school as a person. That's my word for the, for the year. Oh, I love that. That's great. Anna, New Year's resolution on the spot. Spend more time with my friends and my family. Great resolution. Heather, you seem nervous. So I'm going to make it right now to do new things, and this counts as one of them. So this is fun. It's fun. <laughs> New Year's bucket list already started. Yes. Okay, ladies, and I have to ask, what is your immigration story? Well, I came here when I was 10 years old. My sister was about almost three. And uh, my father was here already, so he brought us in. And we actually crossed the border wow. to come to this country, yes, with my sister. Yeah. Wow. Myself and my sister. Just the two of us with somebody else guiding us. That must have been terrifying. Yes, I'll never forget that day, yes. It was intense. <laughs> How do you think, and not to get too deep and tell me if this is, but do you feel like having gone through that journey to get here and come out on the other side, does that, do you carry that with you somehow? Absolutely, I carry that. It's what's made me, you know, fight harder and, and um, because of that I have my school because I feel like when, when we did that, we had to get rid of our culture a little bit because we had to assimilate to the culture and we had to speak more English and less Spanish. So because of that, I think I'm, you know, I want my child to speak Spanish and I want to be proud of speaking Spanish and my heritage. And that's why I study each of the kids' culture so that they could be proud of who they are and where they came from. Um, and so I don't tell my story that often, but I feel like I should be proud of, of that and, and our journey and and that's what's made me today and why I have the school that I have and it definitely has shaped me. Thank you for sharing that. I really appreciate that. Anna, this is a tough one to follow, but what's your immigration story? So so both of my parents are Cuban refugees. Uh, so they both came to the United States uh, in the 60s. And I was always raised very conscious of their uh, journey here and how complicated it was to come to the United States and how much they missed their home country and uh, really conscious also of the fact that because of their immigration story and uh, the ways in which people went to different countries that our family was separated and didn't get to spend as much time together when I was growing up. So. Um, so that's one of the things now in my life, I try really hard to make sure that I can see my family members who are nearby and that I make the effort to fly and see them uh, wherever they are scattered around the US or the world, so. That's amazing. What is your American dream? I think I'm living the American dream. <laughs> Just um, education and um, bettering ourselves so that they can be better than us. That's basically my dream, is for him to be better than me and his children to be better than him. And I think that we're here, and I think that the opportunity is here for that. Anna, what is your American dream? I think my American dream is represented in today's parade. Um, living in a place where where we come from is valued and our contributions to this society are celebrated and uh, we don't feel like we need to assimilate or forget about those cultural traditions. I think that uh, societies are stronger when we celebrate everyone's diversity and where everyone has the freedom to, to feel comfortable with who they are.
Three Kings Day is a Christian feast all over the world, celebrated in a multitude of ways, but all celebrating, closing out the holiday season. See you next time, Brad Squad.